टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन बाइंडिंग ऑफ ड्रग्स वेन ड्रग रीचेस टू द सिस्टमिक सर्कुलेशन मेनी ड्रग्स बाइंड टू द प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन नॉट ऑल ड्रग्स बाइंड टू द प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन बट मेनी ड्रग्स बाइंड टू द प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन वेन ड्रग रीचेस टू द ब्लड दे बाइंड टू द प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन्स सो विच टाइप ऑफ प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन वी हैव वी हैव एल्ब्यूमिन एंड अल्फा वन एसिड ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन एल्ब्यूमिन एंड अल्फा वन एसिड ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन सो बेसिकली एसिडिक ड्रग्स बाइंड टू एल्ब्यूमिन ए गोज विथ ए एसिडिक ड्रग्स बाइंड विथ एल्ब्यूमिन एंड बेसिक ड्रग्स बाइंड विथ अल्फा वन एसिड ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन्स सो वॉट इज द क्लिनिकल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन बाइंडिंग और क्लिनिकल इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन बाइंडिंग दिस ड्रग वेन इट गेट एब्जॉर्ड इन टू द सिस्टमिक सर्कुलेशन इट बाइंड टू द प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन वेन ड्रग इज एब्जॉर्ड इन टू द सिस्टमिक सर्कुलेशन इट बाइंड टू द प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन इफ इट बाइंड टू द प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन इट इज अवेलेबल इन द टू फॉर्म फ्री फॉर्म एंड बाउंड फॉर्म वेन इट इज अवेलेबल इन फ्री फॉर्म और बाउंड फॉर्म दैट पर्टिकुलरली बाउंड फॉर्म विच बाउंड फॉर्म द फॉर्म विच इज बाउंड टू द प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन्स दैट वी कॉल दैम प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन बाइंडिंग दैट बाउंड फॉर्म ऑफ द ड्रग इज नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर एक्शन दैट बाउंड फॉर्म इज नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर एक्शन नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर मेटाबॉलिज्म and that bound form is not available for excretion that bound form is not available for mechanism of action pharmacological action not available for metabolism not available for excretion so what is the importance of this bound form that bound form act as a temporary storage of drug why because it is a pharmacologically inactive so it act as a temporary storage of drug and that free form which is pharmacologically active which is available for action which is available for metabolism and which is also available for excretion so what i am trying to say that free form is pharmacologically active which is available for mechanism of action metabolism and excretion but that bound form which is pharmacologically inactive which is not available for action metabolism and excretion that act as a temporary storage of drug so first of all plasma protein binding favors drug absorption what does it do it favors drug absorption now what are the other clinical significance of plasma protein binding drugs that are highly bound to plasma proteins drugs that are highly bound to plasma proteins they have low volume of distribution they have low volume of distribution that means the concentration of the drug in the plasma or in the blood is low because the most of the part is bound to the plasma proteins that means plasma proteins are inversely proportional to the volume of distribution means drugs that are highly bound to the plasma proteins they have low volume of distribution plasma protein binding delays metabolism of drug what does it do it delays metabolism of drug this bound form of drug is not available for filtration at glomeruli as we know it is not available for filtration at glomeruli hence it also delays excretion of drug it also delays excretion of drug means highly plasma protein bound drug delays metabolism as well as excretion of drugs highly plasma protein bound drug they have longer duration of action because they act as a temporary storage of drug for example sulfadiazine which is less plasma protein bound if it is less plasma protein bound that means it has shorter duration of action only 6 hours but sulfadoxin is more or highly bound to plasma proteins so the duration of action of sulfadoxin is 1 week now in case of poisoning highly plasma protein bound drugs are difficult to remove by hemodialysis why they are difficult to remove by hemodialysis because most of the part of these drugs are in a 
bound form particularly the plasma proteins like albumin are and alpha 1 acid glycoprotein now in case of diseases like anemia renal failure chronic liver diseases or hypoalbuminic states in which there is a plasma albumin levels are low what happens if the plasma albumin levels are low there is increase in the free form of drug if there is increase in the free form of drug that means it increases toxicity at the therapeutic dose it increases toxicity at the therapeutic dose that may lead to therapeutic toxicity and there is a chance of displacement interactions displacement interaction because of plasma protein binding like warfarin and aspirin both are the plasma protein binding drugs highly bound to plasma protein warfarin is acidic drugs aspirin also acidic drugs they both bound to the albumin but what happens what does that mean displacement interaction mean that aspirin is high affinity aspirin is having high affinity for the albumin as compared to the warfarin warfarin is having low affinity as compared to the aspirin that means aspirin displaces warfarin from its plasma protein binding site what happens aspirin is having high affinity towards albumin and warfarin is having low affinity as compared to the aspirin so aspirin displaces warfarin from its binding site what happens if aspirin displaces warfarin from its binding site the plasma concentration of warfarin increases plasma concentration of warfarin increases and if plasma concentration of warfarin increases there is increased chances of bleeding there is a increased chances of bleeding so better you avoid this combination warfarin and aspirin because there is a chance of bleeding so these are the various clinical significance of plasma protein binding